Hello guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. In today's video, I wanna do something a little different. What we're gonna be doing is setting up DHCP on a Cisco router, and then we're gonna have a client connect to the DHCP server and get an IP address. But what I wanna do now, I was just thinking about this over the holidays. I would like to, I wanna start up the, the, the configuration, set up the topology, and now I wanna say like pause the video and see if you can configure what I'm telling you to do. For example, in this config, we're gonna be doing DHCP. We're gonna exclude some addresses and then we're gonna set up the pool on the router. So I would say like pause it for, you know, try to do the lab. I'll tell you how to do it, what routers I'm using, how to actually bring the devices in. Then try to do it yourself so you can see if you can really learn this topic, right? Instead of just going you know, configuring it as I'm going, because you're just gonna learn the commands, but really learn what you're doing. I think that'll be very beneficial. So without further ado, let's get into this lab. Hello guys, welcome back. So again, before we get started, if you, if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, share with your friends and Let's enjoy this journey together, okay? So here is the topology. I grabbed an ISR, which is right here. I just grabbed, a, I grabbed the 3650 switch. So that's those are on the switches, 3650 right here. And then I just grabbed the PC, right? You've probably seen my videos before. And this in the end device and grab a PC out here. All right, so you went into a client site and what I want you to do, or what whomever wants you to do, is set up a set up a router, set it up as these IP addresses. We want to create a loopback address with 1111 with a 32-bit mask, which is 255.255.255.255, bringing all the bits on, right? So, and then in gigabit 000, we want to have excuse me, we want to have the default gateway as 10.11.254 with a 24-bit mask which is 255.255.255 and the last octet zero, okay? And we wanna have this PC grab a DHCP address from the router, all right? So these are, these are the steps, one, two, you know, actually it's gonna be seven right here, sorry. So what I would like you to do is configure the router to exclude the DHCP addresses, name the pool client, put the network, as 10110 with a 24 bit mask, add a default gateway, make this router a DNS server, add a loopback address, and then from this PC, try to ping it, ping the gateway and ping the loopback address and see if it works, okay? So pause it now. Hopefully you paused it. All right, so let's work through this together, all right? So let's go on to the router. Let's go ahead and bring all this up. All right, so the first thing to do what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just do show IP interface brief. Okay, we have no IP addresses. What we do have, what we do have to do is assign gigabit 000 the IP address of 10.1.1.254. Uh, yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and configure configure terminal, and then we're gonna go into interface gig. 0 slash 0 slash 0. Okay, now we're in that interface. This is going to be our gateway. So we're going to type IP address 10.1.1.254 with a 24 bit mask. Perfect. That's interface 1. Right? So we can just do WR to write that config. Okay? So now let's do show IP interface brief. Now we can see our gigabit 000 is configured. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and configure our loopback address to the to the address that we were supposed to do, right? Even though it was a step lower, since we're in this configuration, we can do it. It doesn't matter how you do those, you know, as long as you accomplish all the steps, right? That's the that's the main goal. And to test to ping from PC zero or PC one, whatever I named it, to the router, right? Okay. So let's go ahead and interface loop back zero okay now we're in that interface right so we have to do ip address 1.1.1.1 with a 32-bit mask right 
that's how you would write it, write it in data decimal. Perfect. So I love to do that command, wr wherever I am. All right. So now if we do show IP interface brief, now we can see both of our loopback and gigabit 000 is configured. Now let's go ahead and configure what is the next steps. Let's go ahead and go back to the lab. All right. So we're going to we're going to set up the DHCP, okay? So let's go ahead and open this back up. Let's go ahead and bring it like here. Let's see if we can do something like this. You know what? Let's just make it big. It's probably easier for you guys to see it anyway. All right. So let's go to config and then we're going to go ahead and do IP DHCP DHCP and then we're going to do let's do excluded right excluded addresses so we're going to exclude 10.1.1.20 to 10.1.1.100 right that's what the lab said okay so that's step one the next step is to do i have the the steps over here as well so i don't have to go back and forth that was pretty smart of me so the next thing we're going to do is create a pool called clients right that's what the, the lab said so we're going to do ip dhcp pool clients okay now we're in that config so now if we do a question mark we see something a little little different right so first thing we have to do is set up the network that the dhcp clients are going to be receiving from right so this is going to be 10.1.1.0 with a 24-bit mask and why is that think about that for a second the reason being is if the reason being is because if we do do show IP interface brief, this DHCP is going to be for this interface, and that's the same network, right? Okay, cool deal. You got that? So next thing we're going to do, we have to set up a default router. So what is the default router? If you would, if you would think about what is the default router, hopefully you would say router 1, right? 10.1.1.254. Perfect. You are correct. Default router. 10.1.1.254, perfect. And the next thing we're gonna do is create a DNS server and the same thing. Okay. Let's go ahead and go back. And we added the loop back. Now we can test the config. So let's go back here and here. Now let's do show running config. And we see the DHCP um, excluded addresses. We see the configuration for our pool. Okay. And we sh we're looking good. Now the last thing we can do, we can test this PC like we already had. And then we're going to bring a new PC like Jimbo or whomever to see if he can get a DHCP address. Let's make sure. Let's go to static. Okay. Let's go to dynamic. See, perfect. It pulled an address. Now, what we can do is do an IP config from here. Great. Now we can do ping 10.1.1.254. That is replying. Perfect. That's, we can ping the gateway. But the last step is to ping the loopback to make sure we can ping 1111. Okay. 1.1.1.1. And bada bing, bada boom. It's working. So our setup for DHCP on a router is configured correctly. So now if you go into a little small office and they have a little switch, maybe a layer two switch, doesn't really matter because this is a layer three switch, but it's not doing layer three functions at this moment. It's just doing layer two for the PC to relay to the router. And you should be able to configure DHCP on a, on a small Cisco setup. Now, what I said I would like to do, let's bring my laptop. Now. Pat, Pat's laptop is here and I came to troubleshoot, right? Something. So I need to take my, my ethernet cable out of my book bag, plug it into this switch, I'm gonna plug it into whatever port. And I want to see if I can get a DHCP because someone was complaining that DHCP wasn't working, but they were just impatient, right? like me, right? It's Amber, maybe they plugged in their new laptop and they're like, oh, DHCP, because you know, spanning tree has to work, right? So if we go into the switch, it 
show spending tree on forward still learning right it's not forwarding yet still learning but just give it a second and once that's done once it's in the folding state then i should be able to you know it usually takes 30 seconds right because that's the default all right so it's in folding state now perfect now it's green now let's see if we got a dhcp address ip config oh you know why we're surprised this is on static so let's go dhcp and bada bing we got two now i'm on my my laptop looking good got an ip address let me see let me do this ip config again okay i want to go back to the you know the user and say did you were you just impatient and trying to get on the internet right when you plugged in your computer and you should have just went to go get a cup of coffee because spanning trees in action okay so let's go ahead and try to ping the gateway g54 bada bing bada boom so from my laptop i'm able to ping the gateway now, you know, if I had access to the router, I'll say, okay, it has a loopback address. Let's see if we can ping that to make sure everything's in and bada bing. So this lab is fully functioning, fully up and running. Hopefully, you know, you guys did this and did it well and got it working um, before you actually watched the rest of the video. But this is so we can all learn together different kind of concepts. I have a lot to do. For 2020, I want to set up a little series of, um, you know, basic Cisco labs. So looking forward to it. So without further ado, have a wonderful day. Please like, subscribe, share with your friends. And like, again, like I always say, I really appreciate all you guys support everything you guys do on all my social media and from the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate it. So this might be my last video before the new year because today is the 29th, it is Sunday, Sunday morning, and I'm probably gonna spend the rest of the time with my family, and 2020 is gonna be a good year, so I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, and Happy New Year's to you and your family as well.